We set off from Mount Moriah for Bethlehem. Hi, I'm David Barnett. You might have seen me recently uh, in the very first Dream Themes nativity play where I took part in the starring role of Joseph, a humble carpenter from Nazareth in the Holy Land, who surprisingly went on to become the stepdad to the baby Jesus. But as well as being a surrogate father slash guardian for our Lord and Saviour, I'm also a runner. Welcome to this week's episode of David Barnett's Great British Park Run Sign displayed, no vacancies, no room at the Hi, end. I'm David Barnett talking to you from St Pancras International Railway Station. The departure point for Paris and beyond. Uh, but today we're not going that far. However, excitingly, we are changing from the boring old Thameslink onto the high-speed Javelin train built originally to get uh, athletes and VIPs quickly from central London to the Olympic Village. It's now best known for getting shoppers to Stratford Westfield in seven minutes. Hi, I'm David Barnett talking to you from Stratford bus station where I have tentatively arranged to catch a lift to our destination. I don't normally approve of taking a car to Parkrun of course but needs must today apparently. Well I was offered, it seemed rude to say no. We set off from Mount Moriah for Bethlehem early this morning. Hi, I'm David Barnett talking to you from the finish line at Raphael Parkrun or Rafael Parkrun or Raphael Parkrun. Nobody seems quite sure how we pronounce this one. It's spelt R A P H A E L. Raphael would seem like the obvious contender, but apparently it's not that simple. Anyway, got here in the nick of time um, after accepting the generous lift. We inevitably ended up getting here at nine on the dot. Struggled to find a place to park, couldn't find the entrance and got here just as the, the race was starting. But nevertheless, 21st position today, which I think is not bad. Seems a lot of runners still still on the go there. Um, so I think a decent turnout. So I don't think that was too bad a performance. It's a very beautiful park run. The bandstand behind me, you can see, of course. Um, lovely pond. It's all on tarmac. Lots of gentle inclines up and down so and it seemed like there was more a few short steep inclines but a lot of long downhill stretches to enable you to recapture from all those vital seconds so very nice park with two and a bit laps quite well signposted the the last lap i may have missed if i hadn't been looking out for it but really nice park and seems to be very well organized and uh, as i said you can still see many of the amateur fun runners finishing quite a long way behind me there at Raphael Park Run. Or is it Rafael? Or Raffle? Or Raphael? So now we have the authority on the matter. It's today's run director. Hello. Hello. Can you answer and solve the mystery once and for all? How do you pronounce Absolutely. it? Absolutely. I'm is very it happy to <laughs> It's Rafael. It is Rafael. Rafael Park Run. And it's named after Herbert. Herbert Rafael. Oh gosh. Can we stop it while I look up the answer? <laughs> it is. I looked it up. It's named after Sir Herbert Rafael, who opened the park in 1904. Brilliant. Well, Thank you very much. Did you enjoy it? I loved it. It was great. We, we got here in the nick of time, but it was a really nice park run. Thank you. Thank Sign our visitor talk. Okay, we will do. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. What's your name? Suzanne. Bye, Suzanne. Bye bye. Getting in, but a stable is just the same. You can't go wrong. And that's what happened. Seeing that Mary was due to give birth at any moment, the kindly owner of one inn told Joseph that they could stay in his stable.